I've repainted my gutter guard, uh, that the little aluminum strip that goes over the door, and I'm going to install it. Uh, for repainting, all I did was I took one of these wire wheels. I don't know what kind of material that is. It's sort of, I'm not sure. It's not wire, but uh, I just used one of these on a drill, on a high-speed drill, and just uh, it worked pretty good to get all the old paint off. Then to paint, uh, to paint aluminum, uh, now you can't just spray paint it but it'll it'll come off after a little while so you can buy these little etch kits i got this at industrial plastics in uh, calgary it's just a little two-part here's this is step b uh, it's just a chemical system for etching the uh, aluminum so it will accept primer and paint and it should stay it's on a fairly longer. easy process it's all self-explained on the back of the bottles uh, it's basically you just mix it up with water put the first step on and then uh, let that dry or rinse that off let it dry and then put on the second step let it sit for a bit and rinse it off and let it dry and then go ahead and paint this is the new paint job on the uh, rain guard I used uh, an automotive paint to closely match the color of my truck other items you're going to need to install that I use rivets to, to put it on so there's 3 16th rivets by a quarter inch long so that should just go right through the trailer and it shouldn't poke through your insulate on the inside there's a rivet gun you can pick that up at crappy tire or princess auto probably get one of those for under ten bucks uh, the other thing I picked this up at an RV shop it works great it's butyl tape it's of a putty like substance uh, very sticky but once you put that on there shouldn't be any water leakage at all and of course you'll need a drill and a 316 drill bit if you don't already have holes in your uh, trailer for the uh, rain now guard. I've lined up the rain guard uh, and I've drilled all the appropriate holes all the required holes so all I have to do now is just put the butyl tape on the rain guard insert the rivets and uh, fasten them in also another requirement for the job okay what I'm going to do here is put the butyl tape on so I rolled off approximately what I think I might need. Actually I'm right handed. I'm going to go the other way. So I'm just going to stick this on here. This stuff, okay, it's pretty sticky. Put it like that. Roughly. Pretty easy to work with. Now you use the butyl tape for everything. I put my side windows in with this. I've got some narrower stuff I'll use for those little windows over the sink and the window in the door. Um, I didn't put my roof vent in with it. I used the caulking. I didn't have this at the time. Uh, I might take it out and put this back in. I have one small leak in my roof vent. Nothing major, but I may redo it. So I'm just going to cut that off there. It's a little tricky at first when you start to peel it off. It tends to all want to come up. Just, there we go. Once you start it, there. comes off just like that. Okay, I'll cut another little piece just for the edge here. Now once I put it on with the rivets, it's going to squish out a bit and there will be some visible. But I'll just let that settle for a little while, maybe a couple trips, and then I'll trim it all off. sticky so you want that anywhere where there's going to be a hole where there's going to be a rivet going through the uh, going through the trailer okay and all that's left to do I've got the the holes are drilled they're all lined up with these holes here and all that's left to do is rivet it uh, rivet it to the trailer and have another drink of beer okay, I've got my awning track I'm gonna roughly place it up here there's a hole there there's oops there's the corresponding hole there I'll just set it like that see that butyl tape will even hold that up so now I've got my rivet gun you use the corresponding rivet holder here I've got the proper one in there the rivets just go in the gun like that I'll find this one hole push in like that there wiggle it back and forth so that one's in now to use the rivet gun 
when you're pressing down, when you're squeezing down on it, also have sort of be pulling back a bit too. If you're not and you've got forward force on it, when the rivet snaps, this is going to bounce up. It's going to hit the paint on your trailer and it's going to scratch your paint. So work it like that. And fire down a bit. There we go. Should probably snap off on this one, I think. So I'm pulling back a bit too. There we go. And it should snap off. They should snap off clean so there, there will be a hole in the rivet there. So there, there's one down. Now we'll just systematically go along and do the rest. Actually, before tightening that first one up, what I should have done is gone along and placed them all in so the holes are lined up. So I'll do that now. It was slightly out of line. There we go. So I'll just push them in like this right now. the actual process for doing the rivet. So it's placed in there, it's in the hole, put the rivet gun on, press down so there's pressure on it, and then just start using the handle. You might have to, there's one, let go again. Now I can whoop, push it down again a bit. There we go. Now it should snap on this one. So again, I'm pulling back on this also so it doesn't slip and hit my paint job. There we go. That one's done. This one now. Here's the almost complete job. There's one I couldn't get in. I'll just have to drill another hole and uh, pop it in. Not a big deal. You'll see uh, see some of the butyl tape is squished out around the sides. I'll just after after a while I'll just trim that down a bit. I could even do it right now. And you can probably see some up there. I'm not sure. So there, that's on there. That butyl tape that'll seal all the holes, and there shouldn't be any leakage. This stuff underneath here too. I'll clean all that out after. And let's have a look on the inside. Okay, now here's the inside of my trailer. When I was drilling, I did drill through the, uh, I did drill through the insulate. But I'll just patch that up with caulking and then I'll repaint all this. This is a latex paint. It's not too bad till it gets a lot of pressure on it. Then it just seems to peel right off. But I think it'll, it should clean up nice. So the actual rivets, I've got this away from the fiberglass. Up there too. Oh, actually, here we go. Yeah, here we go, right here. Here's one. I don't know if you can see that. That's one there. So it just comes through. It's probably a little out of focus for you, but it just comes through the uh, or the uh, fiberglass. The fiberglass is about one eighth inch thick, so there's about one eighth inch, one eighth of an inch that comes sticks out on the other side, and then the rivet uh, forms the ball there, so it can't go. Pull.